checking out episode 11 of Vinyl and Hops. As you've noticed, we're not sitting on the couch this time. We're actually out and about. We are here in Conroe at the brand new Wax Taps. We're here with Kevin and Jonathan. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Hello. Cranking some tunes, kicking back some beers, and uh, having a good old time. Uh, what are we drinking? We have the Copperhead Brewery uh, Brew Killer, the American Pale Ale. Nice, light, hoppy, lots of bitterness, uh, pretty light and drinky, so you can pound a few of them back while you're listening to some music and not get super wasted. Uh, unless, that's, unless you're on a mission. But, uh, so we'll do some more. <laughs> exactly, that's, that's some of their other brews more. Uh, and what y'all are drinking might get you there quicker. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This is Seven Spanish Angels. It's from Brazos Valley uh, Brewing Company. It's an American brown ale, brewed with coffee, and it's just one of our It's a good little bit higher than alcohol. So. Nothing wrong with that. It does. It, I feel like it's almost a morning beer. Absolutely, it's yeah, got coffee. Yeah, yeah. 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 If there ever was a morning beer. There has been. Yeah, I've been before noon. I've maybe had a few beer. I love some morning beers with some early soccer games from Europe on the weekends. So. I might have to get that for my fridge for the next uh, early Arsenal game, maybe a Borussia Dortmund game where I'm watching Christian Pulisic nominate. Uh, as the name implies, wax taps, you got, what, 10 taps? 8 taps? I would have 8 taps. 8 taps. Eight taps. So the plan is to kind of let everybody hang out, drink some beer, and listen to music. Yeah. Basically, yeah, pretty much. Um, that's what we were doing before we started this. You know, but we were driving to Houston to go to those record stores, right? Driving from the record store to the growler station and back here. So like, why not that's, do it in Connor? That's the problem too, because I often want to go down there, have a few drinks, which then can turn into more drinks. And they are such so a Yeah, I mean, and, and the money, you know, going down there, the traffic, the time, it's just. You know, getting older, I'd rather stay close to home, so I figure we can't be the only one. Somebody's got to enjoy beer too, someone's got to enjoy some music. You know? Yeah, I'm thinking, thinking there's probably a lot of people in this area, maybe Huntsville, Woodlands, that, that do drive down to Houston. For oh, oh, yeah. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to come in on Saturday during your soft opening and, and see quite a very selection, but a selection that I appreciate. There are many different genres, but I respect it all. That's one kind of thing that it's like, it's like it's almost like they have the same taste in music. Yeah. And not even the music wise, even the people too. I mean, there's a vast, uh, there's a wide variety of people over here on Saturday. Yeah, really very happy and surprised with all the kind things everyone has said. Oh, well, yeah, especially yeah. the music couldn't have gone any better. So, like, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. so, what are your plans for this fine? Well, I mean, hopefully more people discover us, come and, uh, you know, hang out, chill. I mean, we want to feel like, you know, you're welcome to come chit-chat with us, talk music, talk beer, feel like a, I guess more like a community, you know, when you come in, I've never heard of that beer, I've never heard of that band, and we exchange, well, like the beer and record exchange, yeah, right. more like a, you know, right. off the store. Or if you're, you're to make a living in it, right. and we want to also, you know, Right, fine, but we want to gear it toward, you know, the, the people kind of like us that, you know, aren't big crowd fans that might want to just sit in a chair by themselves, you know, do their homework, read a book, and enjoy whatever we happen to be spending. Um, or they can enjoy a drink, too. So it's just another place to go, you know. That's the one thing, you know, one thing I missed, uh, you know, grow, growing up in the, in the north, sort of smaller towns, is even having a coffee shop, so many local to go to, and, uh, find out about new things from talking to people or whatever they're playing at the establishment. Um, something else I've experienced going down the record store too is you almost feel like you're a burden. So, you right, know, yes, like, yes. okay, get, get in, get but off, get your yeah. records, yeah. yeah, get out. Or, and nobody you, engages you. Yeah, you, you, you like this style, okay, I'm not familiar with right. that, so you know, yeah, I mean, can't really help you or suggest a lot of time you're in there. You might spend a lot more, but you don't have that, oh, you like this band? Check this out. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I mean, there's, and, and that's also another reason we kind of, you know, I, I don't think we've got a lot compared to a lot of stores, but I, I like to look at it as we try to go with quality versus quantity. Like for me, when I go to a record store, I feel obligated to look through A through Z. Like I want to look through everything because the second I find one, 
I know they're probably gonna have another band or record that I'm looking for, and I just I gotta find it. I gotta find it. So I feel like the less we had, you can look through it. You don't feel like you're overwhelmed. There's plenty of options, and if we don't have it, we'll find it. And even with this, we had a few people tell us, like, "Yeah, it's getting kind of tired." We're in there, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't have as much. But, yeah. More to come. Absolutely. Uh, so you had mentioned, you know, briefly we were talking off camera about potentially, you know, doing some kind of events or, um, you know, possibly having fans or different. Uh, Definitely one of these shows. Uh, we'd like to get a food truck here at some point. Uh, maybe different food trucks. Yeah, just yeah. something to get people to do, uh, hang out, and chill. Food trucks would be great. I mean, that way we don't have to leave and go get food too. <laughs> <laughs> makes makes perfect sense. Uh, one question, uh, so future reference for people when you do have food trucks, is it recommended to park out front, the back, at the Walgreens, just question. basically where uh, The parking out front is a little bit limited. Um, there's uh, a lot of parking in the back. It's not marked or anything. It's just kind of like, this is an alleyway, uh, Cable Street down here, and then turn past the uh, automotive shop. It was just like the first left, and then you'll see our sign in the back of the building. And you could probably fit maybe like eight or two cars. Yeah. So it's just a matter of if, if there's a spot, we'll, we'll yeah. try to make it happen. We, we bike from right. the house, we live in the neighborhoods, so we try to keep that spot open so we know we don't have that many. But yeah, and you can park on people's street, there's a sidewalk that goes all the way here. Yeah, yeah. we don't care. <laughs> Anywhere that you know of, that people will get towed if they do park, they should avoid. Not that I know of, just probably not another park to your own risk. That's the only thing I can think of. I did not park at the Walgreens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there, I needed. <laughs> we buy something. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing my errands. Do you want to admit that open on you know, camera? Yeah. Maybe it's similar to school. Oh, you're right, you're right. I had a thought. I lost it. How is it? That's oh, weird. I know, right? So, you all asked us this question earlier, so I'm going to turn the tables. One of your favorite shows that you've seen. Mine would have to be, and it's not a metal band, uh, but it's a band called Death From Above 1979. Oh, love them. So if you love them, you probably know they broke up, uh, they got back together, and they started teasing, and as nerdy as I am, I started deciphering and figuring out, okay, South By, this day, this time. I got to the venue at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they didn't play till midnight, but I discovered them because they were doing a soundtrack and they come up to Benson Top, so I was like, yes. So there was no guarantee we were going to get in, because we didn't have badges, but not enough people knew about it. But I got in, saw them, ended up being a riot show, it made the news, they tore, fans tore the fence down. They made a documentary about the movie. Oh, wow. uh, I get to point out my ugly face right in the front there, like, hey, there's me, there's my wife, woo, we're awesome. Uh, but uh, it was fun, it was cool, it was an experience. We just hear tasers and mace going everywhere, we're like, we're gonna die! But it's a death, death from above, I can tell you. Yeah, you can survive. Uh, one, of, one of those guys went off and did Mastercraft? Yeah, yeah, Mastercraft. Jesse did that. Uh, uh, that's I love that stuff too. Uh, yeah, I love all their, their stuff, but yeah, they got back together. I love that new album. They're great. Yeah, I started their subreddit, obviously. That's how much I like that man. Uh, one of my, I guess it's still like a current band. Yeah, we did a cover of. Um, the songs do it. And oh, cool. cool. So that's awesome. We're a uh, two piece kind of uh, grindcore slash electronic slash industrial slash whatever we can fit. Very cool. To yeah. Do. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you for joining our, our first uh, on, -site. on site episode of. Uh, Violent Hops, and I'm sure we'll be out here many more times in the future, and we'll have these guys back on. So, if you haven't made your way out here yet, please do so. Uh, when you're, are you officially open? Or? We're still on our so soft open, open, so it's more of like we're just announcing online, and the easiest way to pay was like a food truck. We're just like, hey, we're going to open now. Yeah. Uh, but right now, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we're probably going to not open. Every other day, we'll probably open, get here like two, three. At the latest one o'clock, one o'clock earliest. Just stay up until no one else is here. And where can they find you? Blackstaps.com. It's the best place. Yeah. Got all our social media and everything. Yeah.
Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Waxaps.com has it all. Um, that's, we're always posting and just kind of show what we're doing. Cool. Should we check out their Instagram? Because sometimes they're playing video games. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, they're playing Mortal Kombat. 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 Mortal